This year we have two new fire trucks uh, here at the West Barnstable Fire Station. Uh, although one is technically not a fire truck, it's our ambulance. Uh, and the other one is an engine, which is right here behind me. Uh, the ambulance came in to us uh, just at the beginning of the year and it's in service now. Uh, it was replacing a 10 year old ambulance uh, in a station of our type and community, uh, eight to 10 years is about the life expectancy of an ambulance. Uh, like everything else, they wear out. Uh, the ambulance is the busiest truck out of this station. It gets a lot of use. Uh, and so our new truck uh, is, is roaring along on the streets of West Barnstable and you probably see it. It's, it's, uh, it's a nice truck and we're very happy to have it. Um, and we replaced a 16 year old fire engine which is actually a little young for replacement of a fire engine. Uh, typically, fire engines go 20 to 25 years before they need replacement. But the truck that we had, uh, we were having a lot of maintenance and rust problems with it. Uh, and the maintenance costs were, were escalating and reliability issues started to escalate with it. So we decided that it was best to replace it rather than to keep pouring money into keeping it going. Folks are always on the move here at West Barnstable. Uh, whether we like it or not, uh, this is where people come to start their careers in the fire service. Uh, we have a large volunteer force. Um, we have about 40 volunteer firefighters and EMTs in the organization. We only have five full-time career staff. Uh, and what happens is that uh, our, the bigger departments around us are constantly stealing or poaching our volunteer staff from us and putting them into full-time positions around us. And this has been going on for 20 years. There's nothing new in it. But the pace of this has increased dramatically in the last five or six years, and it's hard to keep up. Uh, in the last uh, year or so, we've lost about 14 people to our neighbors. Uh, and that's a lot of people to lose at once. It's a lot of talent. Uh, people get in here, they do the training, they do about three or four or five years with us, and then bing, Yarmouth hires them. Sandwich, the biggest poachers around, hire them. You know, Hyannis and Centerville and Barnstable hire them. Uh, you know, even, even Chatham and Truro have hired people from us. Uh, so it's a, it's a battle we fight. Uh, we just put on a new training class of new volunteers, uh, uh, started uh, last month. We get 18 new people joining the organization, which is a, a big group for us to try and train at once. Uh, we're hoping that that bigger number will make it harder for them to deplete us uh, over time. But we always need volunteers. So if you live in the town of Barnstable, um, anywhere in the town of Barnstable, and you're interested in firefighting or emergency medical services, uh, come on down and pick up an application and join the West Barnstable Fire Department. Uh, we got room for more volunteers all the time.